SVG is on site in Doha, Qatar for the 2022 FIFA Men's World Cup. The Corniche is bumping. We just had jugglers with the balls kind of hanging out. We had music. And we're here with a very busy individual. He's been here for about two months. It's Fox Sports' Rod Conti. Rod, how are you doing tonight? How's the tournament for you so far? Yeah, I'm doing great. The tournament is doing great. We're super excited. Go USA. A lot of upsets. Uh, currently taping, it's Friday night. USA is playing against the Netherlands tomorrow. So hopefully the US of A keeps on moving on, hopefully so. Uh, we're, as I said, you're a busy, very busy person from the ground floor to the ceilings. You thought about everything that we're kind of looking at and we're standing right here. But as we're looking in the background, one of the, one of the, the key sets out of four, the digital set, talk about the inception of that and what you're kind of trying to achieve uh, with it being next to the bigger pictures here. Yeah, so with all our World Cup sets, and they varied in size, uh, you know, uh, some of them very small in scope, uh, starting with a background. And in this case, we had a plaza, we had sort of an open landscape, and we just thought that we would dedicate a stage to not only uh, uh, playing its own role in this, but also using us as a backdrop, which is, uh, we hope we built something very aesthetically pleasing, um, uh, uh, a site, of its own to feature and any ancillary group or in this case digital who's using it quite frequently has a real proper setup here to, to shoot back. Uh, uh, so we had space, we were able to do it for them and it served us quite well. Right. And with the fans kind of walking around, you see, you know, a cable cam, you see a lot of techno cranes and, and extended jibs. Kind of talk about the technology that you have to showcase the beautiful area that you're in right now. Well, it is a beautiful area and we built, you know, listen, we built big. So we needed big cameras to cover it. So we have the fly cam, we're working with fly cam to do a point to point that takes us from one end of the Corniche or our specific area of the Corniche to the other. So we get great city shots, we get great other shots of Dow boats and everything and all the festivities that are happening on the street behind you. Uh, the Techno 45 we're using, uh, it's an AR outfitted camera. So it gets us a little bit more up close and personal to our Penna Center. Uh, covers our headers, which are projecting scores, games, um, you know, what's coming up uh, all day long. So this, not only the color that you just saw with some of the activations and the festivities that happen in this world market, it also gets us all that color too. So it's been an essential camera. You mind if we hit the couch real quick and show kind of where we're at now? So Ken, if you want to pan this way, look at that, so we're, we're down and dirty on the move. So. Obviously, we were just here, so if you turn kind of 180 degrees, we're on another set here. Uh, Rod, what is this kind of used for? Is this more of a kind of a chill, more hangout vibe kind of yeah, to set is, things up? This is our nightly show. This is World Cup tonight where we just kind of summarize the day's events and talk more in a night show feel. Uh, we thought the background of that sort of electric look uh, was a nice spot for this. We get little glimpses of the downtown skyline. Um, this set itself was also an ancillary set that could be used from our main set during the day for all of our broadcasts. All the cameras here work and are intertwined and routable so we could move anything at any given time or maybe guests dictated to a different kind of setup. In each one of these stages you'll also see that there's three actual angles that we could shoot to that were open to crowd. So if you had an event like that where there was a lot of crowd activity, or you want to look down the Corniche and see some of the Dow boats, we had versatility here. So not only do we have a couch set up for that lounge type of night show, but we have one-off chairs for single interviews and cafe tables. So we could, we're very versatile on this stage to give fans different work looks. Um, for us, uh, you know, in past shows, sometimes we're really limited by this space. Uh, again, dictated by the location. But in this time, we had some space, so this gave us just that much flexibility to feel like we're all over the place without ever leaving the house. Right, right. Real quick before we transition again, talk a little bit about the research that you did to kind of bring the authenticity to this uh, World Cup and to the set with kind of iconography that uh, Doha and Qatar kind of represent. Well, with every project that Fox has undertaken since our first World Cup uh, in Vancouver, we try to... Uh, you know, make our mark and have a setting that's appropriate or like it works in the environment. Right. This isn't a network that shoots out a window and just cares what the viewers at home do. We want to have this mesh with the culture. We want the, the scenic and, and we want up close looks for the fans, usually in a 360 fashion. But more importantly, when we come to a different uh, country, we want to represent some of the culture. So um, with our work, our creative uh, design team led by Gary Hartley, 
uh, our work with Drive Studios comes up with the concept. And our, foot, our, our, our groundwork here, meeting with uh, museums and people that had, in this case, like Kufic Design, making sure that it was proper, right. making sure that we're using local artists where, so like these small things collectively turn into one big thing and really lend to that unique feel. So we put a lot of thought into that. Right. Uh, we're, you know, we have 32 teams. We also have a country that plays just as important role right. in this event, you know, so. It's, it's a star of its own right, and uh, we just like to represent it as such. All right, one thing I'm very excited to go show. You want to show the showpiece? The big yeah, showpiece? Yeah, let's let's go. go. So unfortunately, the, the viewers can't see the water and how beautiful it is. It's really beautiful in the, in the morning when it's daytime. But Rod, this is the coolest set I've ever been on, kind of perfect for a World Cup, something huge like this. Talk about the thought process on this set specifically and this LED floor that can show either highlights, AR stuff, the technology that's driving this, and what you guys are using it for day in and day out? Well, it started kind of simple. You know, with all our shows, we have sort of an activation or a demo field. But what was unique on this project, we knew we were broadcasting at night. So, uh, you know, things just went off and like how we can make that more exciting. Uh, in sports TV, we don't see as much night hours as we should. And uh, so given the chance and given this amazing set, uh, we thought it needed sort of uh, a crown jewel, and that was the Penna Center. So what we entertained here from a pitch standpoint was to come in and use LED for the first time on the floor. Uh, that with our Unreal Engine and our AR, it's played quite the backdrop from a three-dimensional side to work with our virtual graphics and like really become a mesh with the 360 LED around you. So. Uh, I think we're getting the most out of it with our help from our friends, Creative Technologies, who we work for uh, quite a bit in the States at a Doha office. So uh, it was available. We worked very closely on this. We knew we had some day hours, so we didn't know how it was going to read. There were some chances here. But for the most part, it's been very effective in telling our stories. And we spend a good amount of our show out here. Uh, it is versatile, so you can see a look like this is in here. It's a very dynamic look. We could also turn it into a pitch, just like what we're used to making with AstroTurf somewhere, you know, and uh, as well as providing sponsor graphics, uh, playing remotes in it. So it's had so much versatility using it that we're definitely getting our money's worth. So right. we like we're at night. It gives us new toys to play with. Definitely packs a punch. Uh, some people may think it's virtual. This is 100% real. Uh, LED floor, LEDs all over. Uh, this is one of the cool spots. One more spot to show us. You mind if you go see it? The main set here, you can literally see Landon and Alexi watching the match right now. Rod, uh, what's the point of this? Obviously, it may be a layup question because the skyline's right there. Uh, so kind of talk about how this is being leveraged as kind of the home of you know, when you come back to see the, you know, the, the pre-match the pre or the post-match or halftime show, how this is kind of grounding everything that you guys are doing here. Well, it all starts here. This is our main desk shot. So whenever we're hitting a location, we're trying to tell that story in a picture frame. Despite all that we had, this is what spends the most time on TV. In the past, we've always looked for recognizable places, be it the Eiffel Tower, St. Basil's in Russia. Uh, in Qatar, it was different. It was a new country, didn't have any uh, recognizable landmarks per se, except this growing city, which it is. And uh, the city backdrop, when we first got here was the perfect backdrop for us. It didn't tell the whole picture because Qatar does have a rich history. So the Dow boats that you see uh, out there was our sort of attempt at showing uh, a bit of the Qatarian history with the pearl diving and then set against the backdrop of a very innovative city on the move. So uh, it served well with some, uh, some bells and whistles for the World Cup. It's really lit up and we've been very happy with it. Right. Aside from yourself, Rod, Kind of shout outs to kind of the people on your team that makes this job possible and makes the show flow as well as it's been going. Well, of course, there's Kevin Callahan, who's my partner in this. And there's the uh, executive uh, branch and Everett Shanks and Brad Zager that dream this big. So uh, it's always been such a pleasure to work with people that have those big thoughts and let me play out here. The people I play with, you know, the creative team at Fox uh, run by Gary Hartley. Um, the design group uh, in Drive that we work with quite a bit and coming up with these concepts. Uh, Johnny Cho Designs um, and then uh, Filmworks, of course, which has been a longtime partner for us. Um, this was a new venture, having them do something all the way in the Middle East. So uh, we had shipped quite a bit of this all the way overseas uh, in about 46 containers to make it happen just for the set alone. 
Uh, but we knew that they were a company that could do this in a time frame. We were working in extreme heat. Uh, we didn't know conditions. So it was essential that we got off the ground with something this big, structurally sound, and with you know their new scenic department, something that's paid off in the past. And they did a great job, so I'm happy to work with this entire team. Right. So from renderings to planning to construction to the final product, you've done a great job. Rod, thank you for the hospitality. Best of luck the rest of the way, and uh, let's go USA. Yeah, let's go USA.